popcorn, get your fresh hot popcorn, popcorn. Hello and welcome to my organ room. I'm Michelle and you are at Michelle's Life on Repeat where I'm constantly repeating loving on my orchids and fighting off my migraines. But today I have a monster of a Dendrobium nobili. No ID. I think she's a grocery store one, I think, um, because I don't have a tag for her. And she is in a semi hydro self watering type of system with the Lekka beads. And those um, suck up water from the wicking string that's in the bottom of the, the container that goes down into the second container and it wicks up the water. And once a week I pour fresh water over it, gurgle it up, let it get some fresh oxygen. And I add minerals if it's that time of the month where she might need some fertilizer or she might need some uh, cat extra cow mag or just plain water. It depends on the day of the month like to rotate things around but as I watered her the last few times she has been screaming at me because can you see this this root is falling out of the pot and I wonder how much more room she has in there my idea was to repot her into this pot but look at oh my gosh it's it's not gonna work I'm gonna have to bump it up to this pot <laughs> I think because it's wider and put this one in the even bigger pot. Woo! So when we're done, she should be in there. So let us see what we are need, going to need. We're going to need our bucket of clean Lekka, which I've already washed. It is stored, and I keep a supply of it in my upstairs bathroom. So we have the fresh Lekka. I keep it wet. And um, this Lekka seems to be pretty good, but when we dump it out, we'll see how many roots we have and how many have died. And she has been in this pot. Let's see how long she's been in here. I up-potted her. She was already in a Lekka pot and she needed more room in January. Wow, January 2nd, 22. What was that, seven months ago? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, almost 10 months ago, I upgraded her to that system. Let's see how big she is now. Okay, we have um, in front of us, she has, this is her newest two canes. This one right here, and this one that's down here. If we lift her up so you can see it better. She's still growing, and for me, she will keep growing all the way in through December. Um, they didn't stop growing for me last year but I only got one flower off her so uh, I believe she does need to load, uh, go less fertilizer as she gets closer to winter I believe she would be classified as a winter rester but you know I will look that up and put a yes or a no on the screen because I can never remember so I write them on the backs of my tags and this one I did not write on so I will have to see if in fact she is a winter rester then I will be real delicate here. I will Whew. That was a lot of noise. If she is in fact a winter rester, then you give her less water and no fertilizer. Woo! Those canes are loose, those two newish ones. Let's take, let's take a look at her up close and personal. So she has this new one and this one that are still bouncy. And there's actually a third one. I think these three have all grown this year. She's grown two at a time. They're all woo, dropping like flies here. So we have one, two, and then this third cane right over there that are all brand new. And I... She might even have this one. I just lose track because they look the same. I don't label them, but um, the roots look really good. Nothing dead on those roots. Now it did smell like it needed a little freshening up. Um, she has the nubbins in the back here where other past canes have been cut off. One, two, three past canes have been cut off on the back of that. You see those? little nubbins right into there. There's three that have been cut off, but she is looking mighty healthy, mighty happy. All these lick balls on her, I am not going to touch them. Well, I might bump them, 
with my hand, but I'm not going to try to peel them off because that will indeed kill off where it is uh, attached and it will rip the velamen and then her root will go downhill. So I'm just going to get my hole in the bottom of this one and then it'll go into the crock that I have over here, I think. That says hot, good, fresh popcorn or something like that. And the bottom will have the water reservoir in it. So knowing that uh, her roots were skinny, remember how the width of them were, was pretty skinny? I'll show you again in a minute. I made my holes a little extra big so that if her little wandering arms want to wiggle down into that hole and come through the bottom, the root won't be broken when I separate her from the pot again. So I'll put my wicking string in. Got a little knot in case I go too far. But I pull it back down after I get it all settled. So we're going to position her with her skinny little roots. And uh, see the skinniness of them? Yeah, gorgeous roots. You are gorgeous, little Miss Snowbally. Can't remember if she was pink and white flowers or yellow and white. I'll have to. Ah, it's always a surprise. I think she was a touch of pink with white. Now I have my support sticks that are holding up pretty good. Let me get some liquor. So I'm just going to continue filling it up. I'll lower it so you can see. With the LECA, it has, it has water in it. No biggie. I'm going to flush the whole thing a couple of times to get the LECA to settle in around her roots. And she should be good to go for a couple of years in this. Um, in fact, I might even be able to raise her up a little bit. they touch the bottom of the pot and that helps stabilize her. I'm going to get a new stick for this girl right here, this little lady. She's going to have her own personal stick. Let's reach in here. And here's her own personal little stick. Let's get her going on this one. Get a little clip and she is just a healthy, happy plant. I like her a lot. Okay, so we got that extra one that was a little wobbly right there. Now I'm going to put a little bit more. Whoops, got my toes wet on that one. It is so hot here in Vancouver, Washington. It's the, what, October 2nd? I think it's 80-some degrees. Walked the dog and had to run home and put on shorts. It was so hot with my jeans on. And then I'm just going to put some stones around the top of it. That helps keep the moisture right. Moisture. <laughs> that helps keep the, the wetness and the moisture in from evaporating. And as she grows, and I notice that she might have more roots, uh, you know, probably in another year or so, there's a lot of room I can shimmy her up some more and put more, there's like two inches worth of space for her to bump up higher. So that's exciting for me. Fill the top with that, with those stones. After I get her flush through, see all that water that was in there? I'll get that emptied, then I'll put her some fresh fertilizer water in there for her and call it a good old day. And then she will be set to go for do check on her weekly by flushing fresh water in, checking if she has enough um, water in her reservoir, and giving her some dusting off and loving. But overall, she sits kind of in a corner. Either um, she sat all of last year, I'll see if I can show you, on this window, which is now taken up with my vegetable garden, but she sat at that window in the corner, got the cool breeze in winter, so I might put her back there in winter, closer to the window that I leave open so it cools down for the orchids in the room here. And uh, in the rest of the year, she's been right behind the camera over here underneath these lights that are shining down. And she's just been growing, growing, growing. I am happy. I am 
have you with her. Usually in Vancouver, Washington, you will find Nobilies at the different Safeways and Fred Meyer or Kroger grocery stores between November and December, like holiday special plants. So if you see one and you haven't picked one up yet, do it. They're really great. They hold up well. They're easy to grow. I just love them. And in fact, I'll probably look for a second one. I had a second one, but I killed it. Um, but anyway, that was, that was so many years ago. I might have to get a second one when the holidays roll around again. Thanks for spending time with me today. I wish you well, and I wish you peace. Until we talk again, bye-bye.